Hello to you, Adventure of the Interwebs. My name's Mikey. And this game right here is called Raiders. It's a new MMORPG which is based off kind of Monster hunter kind of thing. I was very lucky at Res 2012, the PC and Indie Game Show, when I was at the Raiders booth to be able to have an interview with one of the lead producers, Rudiger Mersch, which is what you're about to hear. Now, the audio quality is not quite as good as usual because it's been recorded from the microphone of a camcorder. So bear with it. You should be able to understand it, but I apologise for the audio quality, and I hope you like the interview we had. Well, the feeling I was getting from this was very much kind of a Monster Hunter kind of vibe, and yes. everything I've seen, it's, this has got a big influence from Monster Hunter from the <laughs> Korean side. It I'm does. right in saying that. It does, yes, That's you can good. say that. You know, As you know and as I know, a Monster Hunter is very, very big in Korea. And Maya, the developer of the game, is yeah. a Korean company. Yeah. So of course there was some influence in there. Fantastic. And the really big thing from the Korean side that I've seen, and especially uh, Graham, because he plays a lot of it as well, is uh, the difficulty of it, is being able to defeat a boss that's really very difficult, that not many people can do, and having the pride, working out the tactics, working together, the teamwork, taking it down, and knowing that there's not that many people have been able to accomplish that. How are you going to bring that into this game, or are you going to try to appeal more towards the casual side as well? How are you going to find the balance between the casual and those hardcore gamers? Balance is always a big problem for any game, as you know. Now, we are actually trying um, to offer the player two, let's say, venues of playing the game. For the ones who actually like to be single players, now we are trying to uh, increase the single player value a bit more and say it is possible for you to f uh, defeat monsters. So for example, we are taking open world bosses and putting them into instances and then you can as a single player fight him there. And he will be a little bit uh, yeah, less challenging than on the outside. So or be true decrease. to the single player. For example, yeah. And on the, on the other side, you know, a lot of them actually, uh, you can come back anytime you want. So you can level up, you can come back. And then some of the monsters that have given you a very, very hard time when you have a low level yeah. are easy to kill, easy prey. Uh, the other side is, of course, uh, this is a team game. So you go in, you collect a few fellow players around you, forming a group, forming a guild, and then going for the big ones. And the big ones are really challenging. Yeah, and they're, you know, big, they're really big as well. <laughs> some of them are really big. You know, the big guy we have here chosen as our uh, main character, no, his name is Zigni. I normally call him Ziggy. <laughs> and uh, if you're standing in front of him with your character, you are barely able to look over his toenail. Oh, really? So, well, that's massive. So he is really massive. If he fantastic. puts one feet down, the whole yeah. world is shaking. Something like that. <laughs> oh, so you got the whole the world is very interactive. Like it shakes when you got a big monster nearby. Yeah. Yeah. For example, here you see. At the moment, we are here in the beginners area. But in the beginners area, a little bit um, away from the place that we see here now. Is it's one of the bigger monsters, it's called Eluga. Yeah. He is a uh, mix out of a frog and a lizard. Yeah, he's no? got a big horn. Yeah, he got I a big horn. And actually, if you I fight him, you can cut off his horn and you take the horn and use it as a weapon. Oh, I like that. That's very is that with a lot of the other yes. bosses as well? Yes, yeah, not only the bosses, but the mobs as well. Oh, okay. Now, for example, um, when we go here onto the beach, for example, there are yeah. some sea trolls. The sea trolls have some um, that club, you can say, a really huge club. Yeah. And if you defeat him, he drops the club. And you can pick it up and use it. Okay. And it's not only that it has a different weapon, but it also has some different um, abilities. Yeah. Yeah, so your ability tree down there yeah. changes anytime oh, okay. you pick up another weapon. I saw something similar like that with Guild Wars 2, where you could pick up different things in the environment. But within Guild Wars 2, they weren't very useful. You pick them up, they were very weak, They were, it was funny, but there was no real use to it. Uh, the weapons you can pick up in here, like, do they actually damage them? Oh yes, they, they do. Them. Oh, that's good. I like you know, that especially, one. especially in the beginning, when you're going around here with level one, level two characters, yeah. you're pretty weak. You can kill a few mobs, yes. But if you go, for example, for Illigua, one of the first monster, uh, boss monsters, no chance. No chance. He no, not even if you dodge you. every attack. Yeah, okay. If you dodge every attack, if you're a really, really good player, you can defeat him. Yes. Yeah. That's the whole whole point yeah, behind it. You I'm, will have I'm a really chance. I'm really looking forward to the YouTube videos, the level one going out and taking on <laughs> the elite bosses with yeah. ten hour videos. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Them down. No, it is possible. You see, for example, there's a club line that you can yeah, pick up. Not something like that. And um, no, this one is just not. This is and some when of you them are so you just you press E or something, you're able to pick it up. Yes, correct. Okay. No, and then um, yeah, you pick it up and you fight, and they are much better than the normal weapons you have. 
Yeah. Or one thing that I really like here in the beginners area is one of the quests later. Uh, you have to fight a really, really bad spirit. But he is, oh my god, he kicks your ass any time. <laughs> then you find out that next to them, there are some pillars. Yeah. If you go there, you press E, then you will transform into some kind of ancient warrior. Oh, okay. no, so you have different spells, you have different weapons, <laughs> and you are something like level 8, oh, yeah. suddenly. So you get yeah. a glimpse into what it will be when you level up That's in the game. That's a nice tutorial system to be able to yes, teach them the higher skills. And like see, now you have picked up the club. And, and you, can, then, you can go whack someone with it. Yes, <laughs> and it does damage, as you see. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Like it's really fun with that. And you have a lot of other things. Now, sometimes they drop something and yeah. it's only a buff. Sometimes they drop a weapon. And they no? don't last very long. So they don't ah. last long. They just nope. they end up breaking. But they're yes. useful while you've got them. That's correct. And of course, you know, you go there, you kill the next sea troll and you have it again. Yeah. Now, me personally, I'm, I play MMORPGs and games like that for the PvE experience. To play against the game and the environment. And it is, it is a monster hunter game. We're hunting monsters. But I know a lot of you guys watching it are going to be into the PvP player versus player. Do you have any plans for PvP? It's already implemented. Okay. So we already have two different kinds of uh, PvP implemented. One of them is a uh, basic duel system. So you can go there, you can challenge your fellow players to a duel and fight them. For example. <laughs> Well, the other one is uh, in a later area, it's called Mount Edda, uh -huh. there is a PvP zone. Oh yeah. So you can go in and you can fight even big battles if you want to. And is no? it um, teams against teams? Or? Uh, in this area it's basically at the moment um, deathmatch, free ball. Death okay. no, like but that. actually you also have the possibility to start um, certain quests in there. Yeah. For example, one is uh, escort the high priest. So you have one group escorting the high priest, the other so one is coming PvP in and trying to select quests as well. Yes. Okay, I like that. Well. And there is more PvP coming uh, yeah, in the future, let's say. This and way. will there be certain currency for PvP to gain PvP specific items for people that want to specialize within PvP? Not at the moment. Not that the might moment. come okay. when we actually expand the PvP okay. experience. Yeah. I mean, me personally, I'm not really interested in that. I want to kill the big monsters, but there's a lot of people me that too. are really into arenas and the competitive yes. side with the PvP. Yes. No, but I'm, I agree, you know, in here one of the really, really nice features is actually fighting the big monsters. Yeah. They are awesome. There are so many different ones and they're all fight differently. You see, a couple of months ago we had um, a stream in the evening yeah. to show the players a little bit of the game and we actually spawned one of the higher level monsters okay. that were actually not shown so far, <laughs> yeah. uh, the Manticora. And uh, we were 20 people and we had to fight this thing 45 minutes before wow. we could get it down. Wow. It was amazing. The video is still like on, on, online, you can have a look there. It's absolutely amazing. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, it is. Now, a lot of things that's been affecting the gaming world recently is the influx of uh, community input into games. Yes. I mean, a fantastic example is Minecraft, but there's also other games that are a great example of how the community really molds the game. Do you have, how does the community input affect your development of this game? Let's say just where we have a very, very good connection to the developer and they are listening to us and we are listening to the public and to okay. our players. Now, of course, it is impossible to do everything. Yeah, of course. Now, there are some stuff in there. <laughs> that, that's the point, yeah. And there are some stuff in there that you simply can't do with the game because mm -hmm. the mechanics are not made for it. Yeah. Now, of course, if there's enough uh, requests, we can change some stuff in the game. Now, new items is basically no big problem. No, or um, if, for example, we bring an item out and everyone is shouting, no, 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 we don't like it, then we can change it or we actually can go there and completely remove it. Yeah. But that's everything is possible. Big changes, of course, will take time. Yeah, they will. They always do take time. So you're, yes. in, you're willing to take in input. Yes, definitely. I'm looking forward to get the input. But of course, you're still in charge input. of what input is best, is the best line to yes. take. And we, of course, the point is, you know, the player sees only the game in the state it is now. Mm -hmm. We have to look in the future and yeah. we see, for example, the plan for the next three years. And if there's something coming that the players definitely want, and we can't simply give them because it would contradict something in the future. Yeah. Yeah. That's a stuff that's hard then to, to get over to the player, no? to tell them, no, you can't get it now because yeah. there's something coming that and we are sense. not allowed to tell about it. <laughs> yeah, you, sometimes you got to be just wait and see kind of attitude. Yes. 
it sounds good. And the thing that I'm really liking about this game, above everything, is it's free to play. Yes, it you is. You can just get involved and try it out, and it's very small download as well. Yes. It's not massive, it's not going to take no, a the day and a half to download. 3.7 gigabyte, that's absolutely fair that's for a game fantastic. like this. And it's, it's free to play. That, yes. that's, that's amazing that an MMORPG is actually free to play of this quality, of this caliber. The graphics yep. are good, and the gameplay, I was playing it earlier, is fluent. It doesn't feel buggy or anything. It's enjoyable. Yep. You have to dodge out the attacks and everything. Yes. And for a game of this caliber to be free to play, I think it's just absolutely incredible. Yeah, I think so too. But I think, you know, I'm a big fan of the free to play model. Yeah. I say it's, it's basically the fairest model we have yeah, at exactly. the moment. Now, because players can go in, they can try it out as long as they want. They are not forced to do anything. No, and then we are definitely trying to keep uh, the free-to-play system up and running, and in a way that's not uh, yeah, cheating on a player. Let's say this yeah. way. You know, yeah. there will be no items that are basically pay to win. Yeah, yeah. We are trying to that, avoid that's that. That's very important. No, I, I don't like the golden bullets. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you get some. Of course, you get some advantages if you buy it in high-level stuff, for example. Yeah. Like, or we will have some some cosmetic stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Of course. Cosmetics Maybe even nice. we go there and say uh, new level is coming. We are, if you buy it, you can get access a week earlier or something like oh, okay. that. Yeah. But yeah. we will never go there and say this level is only for pay. Yeah. Yeah. We will not do that. Like uh, the Mass Effect 3. For example. <laughs> I didn't want to mention a lot of problems. it. Oh, I don't mind mentioning it. <laughs> you can, <I'm> not. <laughs> the viewers can tell me off later, but it's fine. Sure. So for people that want to get involved with this game, what's the best way they can get involved with it at this stage? At this stage, go to our website, sign up for it. We are giving out, uh, during the rest, 5,000 guaranteed beta access okay. for that. No, and then afterwards, uh, yeah, the beta is coming. No, so it's next month that we are going into the closed beta. Close and then we will give out a lot more keys over Facebook, Twitter, website, yeah. the usual ways. All, all the so social networking goodness. Yes, <laughs> correct. And is there any kind of time? What were you aiming for? Do you have a release date? Yeah, we have basically, um, not really the date yet, but uh, we say we want to release it something mid end of November. An end of November. That's not yes. too far away. It's I can not look too far to away. Yes. For Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually the point. You know, we want to bring it out for Christmas. It's good timing. Very good timing. Yes. And there you go. There was the interview with Rudy Gomes. I was very, very lucky to be able to have an interview with him. It was he was such a nice guy. And he's actually the first person I've ever, ever interviewed. So I hope that sounded okay. Um, I hope you guys like the game. I'm pretty excited about this. I've been fairly bored of the MMORPG kind of genre for a while. I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft and nothing has really excited me since World of Warcraft. But I tell you what, I'm pretty excited about Raiders. I was playing it. If it felt kind of fun and it being free to play is just a massive bonus you can try it out have a go and see if you like it or not pretty much i'm definitely going to be doing that let me know if you are and let me know what you think of the video did you think i did a good interview or not this is the first interview i literally ever did and it was pretty big shot to have my first interview with see you in the next one farewell for now